Welcome back to Run Around TV. Today we're doing a little game called Did You Know? And what we're going to plan to do is... I'm going to ask him questions. She's going to ask me a question and we're going to find out if you knew that. And if he knew that. And if I knew that. I know a lot of things about a lot of different, you know, just an things. array of, of um, knowledge mm -hmm. really is what I'm about. Yes. And um, I what, I, what I aspire to. Mm -hmm. so basically, my lovely wife Elizabeth here. Everyone... Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, did you know that over 10,000 birds a year die from smashing into windows? <laughs> no. The death of many birds have, have been on my hands. The blood of many birds. That's uh, sick. Yeah. One you know, time, so one smashed into our family window on the way to church, and the bird's heart was beating on our windshield. And my dad turned the windshield wipers on, which was a disaster. Like his heart came out of its chest yeah, and it was, it was beating. Still, <laughs> the heart was still beating on the windshield. It was terrible, and I was eight, so I it never Literally remembered. sounds like that that part of Dumb and Dumber where he rips, he rips the guy's heart out. And he yeah. Him, was it similar to that? Yeah, but worse, because you're a child. Did you know that over 70% of the dreams you remember may actually be wrong? Dream recall is notoriously inaccurate. I feel like if you think... More than 70% of the dreams that you remember are right. You're an idiot anyway, so why is that one of them? Okay, like, that was a bad one. Did you know that bacon reduces risk of heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and That's a lie. That's a freaking lie, and you know it is. Did you know that people whom you consider to be annoying appear to move slower, which makes mm. us even more annoyed? That's, yeah. I think I agree with that. I, I think I did know that, because I, when I'm out, when I'm driving around anywhere, I notice that people are just some of the most underdeveloped intelligence I've ever seen on this on the roads th these days, you know? Yeah, and you're always in slow-mo to me. Yeah. What does that mean? Just your life. My life is in slow-mo. It just means you hate my soul. Did you know, I don't feel like these are right, but did you know people with a high IQ have the ability to instantly create a sarcastic response? Yeah, that sounds right, because I do that all the time, and I am smart. Okay, Rev did you know revolving doors exist to prevent drafts when the door opens, saving energy on heating and cooling? Do you ever get stuck in the draft of a revolving door? <laughs> you're in a vortex, and you're being pushed into an, an alternate universe, I feel like, when I'm going into like a hotel lobby or something, and you're always afraid you're going to smash the old lady who's walking in behind you, and that you look weak if you can't push it because it's not really it has nothing to do with your strength. It's all about. I'm always confused as to how many people you can actually fit in one of the <laughs> compartments of the revolving door. Do I pull my bag into here, or am I? <laughs> should I give it to the bellboy? And it, I'm an idiot because I didn't have money to tip him. I never have money. I never have cash. Who carries cash around? And tip somebody. Did you know that stretching before a workout may actually increase your risk of injury? Wow, that would explain a <laughs> lot, a lot of my problems. My back is jacked. Uh, did you know that lack of exercise kills just as many people as smoking? Hmm. How do you really determine if lack of exercise kills someone? Because <laughs> it's not like you thing. can't personify the, the death of someone as in like lack of exercise killed them. Darn near killed them. I mean, actually, I've said that a lot of people. <laughs> But not in those words. Somebody has to be craned out of their house like <laughs> Gilbert Grape. Then what's eating Gilbert Grape? It's mother. If you haven't seen Gilbert Grape, stop what, what you're doing right in the F now. Grape. I mean, if you haven't seen what's eating Gilbert Grape, nothing's eating him. His it, mother's uh, huge. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I. But yeah. It's <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio's best role ever. Um, did you know that? I'm the starving. Type... You're hungry? Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Are you hungry? Sort of. Um, Eating after this. Did you know drinking two cups of cold water on an empty stomach can boost metabolism by 30%? It's it, it What it does is it curves your appetite, too. I drink water all day in the studio. Is it curves or curves? Yeah, because I feel like if you curb something, it's not good. Like when you curb in your car and you like scratch your rim up, you know? Yeah, curve. curb. I think You're it might be curbing curbing. your appetite. Did you know that each employee at Ben and Jerry's gets to take home three pints of ice cream a day? That's or BS. I call BS on ben that. And Jerry's. First of all, how big is a pint? I don't know measurements. Seems I'm not like a mathematician, but that's a pint. I think that right there, like a square, I'm like a sure that rectangular pint. Are pints pint. smaller? 
No. Isn't the Hagen Doss thing that you get small? That's a pint? Don't tell people that I eat a pint of Hagen Doss. <laughs> Did you know that redheads require up to 20% more anesthesia to be knocked out as opposed to other people with different hair colors? I have heard that. That doesn't make any sense. I've heard, it, I've heard that they have a, a lower tolerance to pain, which is why. Like something about their genetics from being a redhead. Huh. Gingers, huh? <laughs> is that offensive? Who are a redhead? With freckles. Please leave it in the comment section. Whether or not the term ginger is offensive. Because if it is offensive at all, then we will not use it anymore. It's an endearing term. Like gingerbread man. I mean, come on. Who's offended by him? He walks up and he's like, hey, eat me. You know? Well, shoot. I could destroy a gingerbread man right now. Not a fan of the houses. You one. think you're putting it together because you're going to enjoy it. No, but you don't enjoy it. You crack your teeth open on that gingerbread <laughs> house. That's what it sounds like. I've never read oh this. wait, you'll love this. Okay, did you know that Daft Punk named their band after a negative reviewer called their act a quote, bunch of Daft Punk? That's awesome. No, I did not know that. That's right. Lightning round with Maggie Kirk. All right, Maggie, Punk. it's your turn. Talk to everybody, buddy. Talk to everybody, buddy. Talk to everybody, Maggie. Say hello, welcome to the lightning round with myself, Magpug. She's speaking to you. I hear okay, her. She's, okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> she likes to sniff me. Oh, did you know that fortune cookies, Maggie, were actually invented in America, not China? She's clearly upset. <laughs> we upset she, her. Maggie is actually Chinese. Maggie is from Chinese descent. She was actually bred. She is a Chinese to lay. She's doing dead leg. She's going dead leg on me. <laughs> she can't handle it. She cannot handle that. No, she's hair. clearly Okay, frustrated. one more, one more. One more with Maggie, because she's dead-legging us. Uh, Come on, Maggie. Okay, did neck. you know that bad, in, bad eyesight is linked to overall intelligence? Men and women with bad eyesight tend to have a higher IQ. What do you think Maggie's eyesight is? It's very I don't think bad. Maggie thinks she might be going blind in one of her eyes, but we're not sure. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Maggie literally is daydreaming about me dropping a biscuit on the floor. <laughs> she has no idea what's happening. She doesn't know where she is and she wants to go home. Well, that was um, round one or our first uh, installment of Did You Know? Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maggie definitely did. Mm -hmm. Be sure to stay tuned to Run Around TV for the next series, the next episode of this series. And if you haven't already, subscribe. This is a subscribe button, which Maggie's pointing to right here. Yeah, and this, right, in this right where her paw is, and she's sort of sniffing. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Love you guys. We will see you very soon. Peace.